What's up, YouTube family? Welcome to another episode of Tutorial Tuesdays. I told you guys I was bringing more videos, right? Okay, so here it is. Um, big shout out to everybody who watched the last video. Please, if you like these videos, I would love you to please smash the like button and subscribe to my channel. We're trying to get the channel up to 1,000 subscribers as quickly as possible. But without wasting much time, I'll take you guys into today's video. All right, guys. So today I am going to be showing you guys how to get like really white backdrops or really get get pure whites in Photoshop. You know, sometimes when you shoot and you shoot white, and because of all the uh, materials around, your light is bouncing off all sorts of stuff with different colors. You know, you get all these kinds of color cast, and it's not really white. And also, sometimes your paints are not really white; it's off white, and you know, there's just a million reasons why your whites will not turn out really white in Photoshop or in your pictures. So um, today I'm going to show you guys how to go from here to here with some very, very easy steps. Okay, so I'm just going to delete or turn off this layer and then we're going to do it all over again. So I have this image here I shot of um, the beautiful Diva Maka. Shout out to Diva Maka. She's an amazing model. And um, I'm just going to quickly show you guys how. So the first thing I do is I um, select the whites. And how do I do that? I do that with something called color range. So you can come up here to your select, go to select and then go to color range. If you click on color range, then this, um, this appears. Now you want to pick this first tool to select a certain color. The way color range works is that if you pick a particular color, then it selects anything that is that color in the picture it selects it. So right now we're going to select the white and you can see that everything that is white here is selected, everything that is black is not selected. So it just shows you that our white has a range of some white to light gray to, to darker gray. And we're going to add to our selection here and then just keep clicking. You can also click in this box here and then just keep clicking, 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 clicking. And you keep clicking so you're satisfied. We can pick our clothes as well because we want our clothes to be white. So after selecting like that, you see that you have uh, everywhere that is white is selected and everywhere that is black is not selected. Don't worry, it doesn't have to be perfect. You can modify it with your um, with your quick selection tool later on. But just press OK and then you can see we have a rough selection of um, all of the whites. You know, there's some areas that are not well selected like here. But don't worry, we can fix all of that um, because we're going to turn our selections into a mask. Okay now, so... Um, I'm going to start to deselect the things that I don't want, for example, our eyes. So I'm just going to use the, the quick selection tool and hold W, that's the shortcut, and then hold Option to cancel my selection here. Uh, I'm also going to go in here to make sure that these parts are selected, they weren't selected before. Just don't worry if it's not perfect, you can always fix it in your mask. So we're just going to go around the image, just try and check the edges. Um, this method of selection is really good when you are working with images that have like a defined color. So as long as wearing a yellow outfit on a red background, for example, it would be very easy to select. Remember, whenever your um, quick selection tool is messing up, just try and um, support it with your lasso tool, then that always works. I think I said that in the last video. Okay, so um, this is just a rough selection. We're going to leave it like this for now. I'm going to try and select here as well. Uh, don't worry guys, don't need to waste too much time here. You can always refine it in your layer mask. Okay, so we have uh, all of that selected. Um, I would like to add all of this as well. So I'm just going to use my lasso tool to add this. Okay. So we have our selection already. So the next thing you want to do is come to your adjustment layer here and then pick um, a hue saturation layer. So if you pick a hue saturation layer, then this pops up and then you can reduce the saturation of your whites completely without touching her skin tone. So you can see that we have come from here to here. Um, let me do that again, here to here. Uh, you can see it's a lot better already. So now what you need to do is um, zoom in and then try and refine your selection. So you see any small, you want to paint on the mask. So you go back to your normal brush, opacity 100, flow 100. And we can reduce the size a bit. So as you can see, we have a white brush at the moment. And a white brush is going to do this. So we want to change to a black brush to show her skin tone. 
in these areas. Then we'll switch the brush again to fix whatever errors are here. Well, this one is left to you. You can really go in and and try and fix all the problem. Or you can be a little bit lazy. Don't be lazy like me though. But um, the selection tools in Photoshop are really good now. So for the most part, you'll be fine. Just make sure you check the edges, and you should be fine. So that looks good. Um, okay. So the last thing I'll do is uh, I'm going to create another adjustment layer with levels. Okay, and I'm going to clip it to this one. So hold Alt and then click in between these two layers. Now what that does is it, um, it makes sure that whatever you do on levels would only work on whatever is working on this layer, which is the mask. Alternatively, let me do command there, you can hold Alt and click this layer mask and just copy it to your levels as well. So this works as well. And then, um, from your levels, you can just pull pull on this guy here a bit to so kind of raise the the black so they are not so black. But you have to be careful when you are doing this because you know you can you can start to look a bit unrealistic. So just be careful with that slider. I'm just going to reduce the opacity a little bit, a little bit. Okay. So I'm going to group this two together and command G, and then this is before and after before and after. Okay, so the last thing I'll do is, you can see that there's a bit of um, a shadow here because of how the image was lit. So um, light isn't getting here at all. So I'm just going to create a new layer and say um, brightness and contrast. So um, increase my brightness a bit. Well, that's too much, but I'll just press Command I to invert this layer mask. Okay, so now it's hidden. And then now, you know, we want sort of like a, a gradual gradient coming from here to here. So we're going to press G for the gradient tool. It's already in um, black to white. So I'm just going to pull on this this way. And let me do that again. Just pull on it this way. And if you can look at the mask, you see what it does. So it just reveals all of this gradually and then stops revealing it. So uh, we have this which fixes most of that problem for us. We can also go back into our brightness and contrast and increase the brightness a bit to try and fix that a bit. So we have this. And then I'm just going to drag this into the group. And then just like that, we've gone from here. We've gone from here to here. Oops. We've gone from here to here. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please leave a like button and then leave I said leave a like button. Please subscribe and like the video. Thank you guys so much. I'll see you guys in the next video.